It doesn't take much these days to make you feel like you're living in Orwell's 1984. Our smart speakers are listening to us, Facebook isn't being very careful with our data, and what about those little cameras on all of our computers and phones? Are they spying on us without us even knowing it? Well, it might not be something that you think of regularly, but there definitely have been instances of webcam hacking where people were spied on in compromising situations. And as you may have guessed, it's often not easy to tell if this is happening to you. So to find out more, we reached out to Troy Hunt, famous for creating the website, Have I Been Pwned? And we'd like to thank him for his contributions to this video. So. There are a few tricks that you can use to see if your webcam has been activated without your consent. A pretty obvious tell is if that light that's attached to the webcam turns on unexpectedly. Though, you probably don't need us to tell you that the wrinkle in that whole plan is that the absence of a light doesn't necessarily mean that no one is watching. You see, while some webcams have a light that is hardwired into the circuitry and that will always turn on if there's a signal being sent through the camera itself, many others have a light that is in fact software driven, meaning that a skilled hacker could turn the light on and off at will. And making matters worse, it's very difficult to figure out which kind of light your webcam has. However, not every trick that hackers use to spy on you is super elegant. So do pay attention if the light does come on unexpectedly when you open your web browser or launch an unrelated program. The culprit might be a compromised browser extension or application that you may be able to simply remove easily. Other less well-designed pieces of malware can leave traces on your PC. For example, some of them will leave copies of recorded video somewhere on your hard drive, often in the default folder that recordings are saved to. So be sure to check for videos that you don't remember recording if you think someone might be watching you. There is some good news though. It's actually becoming harder and harder to accidentally get infected by malware that will spy on you through your webcam. Back when applets like Java and Flash were far more common in browsers, it was easier to fall victim to malware of this type, including spyware that could potentially take over your webcam. And it could happen simply by visiting an infected website. These days, because of these security concerns, Java and Flash are far less common. Plus, operating systems are automatically patched quite frequently, and the more walled garden nature of mobile operating systems makes it even more difficult to pick up malware passively on devices like those. Instead, social engineering reliant attacks that rely on tricking the user into revealing information on their own, like phishing, or remote access trojans are more common ways to have your webcam compromised. Remote access trojans, which allow a bad actor to control a user's computer over the internet, are quite common in tech support scams, which you can actually learn more about right here. Additionally, hackers that focus on getting into webcams tend to do it in a more target specific manner, which makes sense if you think about it. Cyber criminals who are out to steal financial information often try to cast a very wide net and get the account information of as many victims as possible because like, Money is money, no matter who it comes from, right? But webcam spying is often motivated by a perpetrator's desire to surveil a particular target, maybe a business rival or a former lover or a celebrity who they think they might be able to blackmail. That means that you could fall victim to a targeted phishing attack or even have surveillance software installed on your machine when you aren't looking. Now, that isn't to say that there haven't been instances of hackers attempting to spy on people at random just to satisfy some voyeuristic tendency or even sell the footage on online black markets. But the bottom line is just be careful about what kind of enemies you make or if you think that people are after you, all it takes is a small piece of cardboard over your webcam and no one will be able to look through it. I guess that really is the bottom line of this one, isn't it? Speaking of bottom line, Create a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform to help out your bottom line. With Squarespace, their award-winning templates make creating a powerful online identity easier than ever before, and every template is a starting point for a wide range of projects, including creating something like an online store where you can manage your inventory and your orders all through the Squarespace platform. Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 support via live chat and email, and they've also got live webinars and help guides available on their website 
website. You can transfer your third-party domain to Squarespace, so instead of working with multiple vendors to maintain your online presence, you can manage all of your domain and billing settings in one place. And the best part is you can try out Squarespace for free. Just go to squarespace.com forward slash techquickie, and then once you decide you love it, use code techquickie to get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos. Leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible. And don't forget to subscribe.